This is day number two of our tiny house build. And yesterday we put all the foam insulation into the floor of our trailer. Our trailer came to us with metal flashing up underneath, which saved us a lot of time and effort in having to screw that in ourselves. So the floor needed three inches of foam insulation, but they don't come in three inch uh, sheets. So we had to use two inch and one inch layered on top of each other. So this purple is a two inch foam insulation and it's an R10 rating. So we cut that to size and popped it in there and you have to give it a little bit of a, a good punch to get it in. This is the one inch insulation. This is an R5. And for all of the other areas here, they have a little lip. Um, this metal bar is like a letter Z. So we had to pop it in there. We actually sanded a little bit off the top edge of these so they would fit right in. And then we were able to just stick them in this way and pop them down. This one we don't need to do that since it's at the very end. So we're just gonna put it right in there. And we just give it a nice little shove and it goes right in. So this is gonna be the insulation underneath our subfloor. We'll have a sill seal that goes right here to give us a barrier between the metal and the wooden subfloor so that we don't get any drafts or cold spots. And then the uh, subfloor will go right on top here. 